Right, let's start here. Two men accused of killing seven people at a Kestel farm in the Free State will appear in court today. The two suspects were arrested within 24 hours of the mass killing. The deceased are a teenage boy and six women. They were aged between 17 and 53. Moloko Moloto is watching those developments and he joins us now live to give us more. Uh, Moloko, I know that you were earlier on with community members outside court. Have proceedings started? What do we expect to see today? Well, Masero, the reception isn't that good, but I hope you can hear me. Indeed, earlier we arrived here to find this crowd. Perhaps let me stand out of the shot for my colleague to show you the number of people who are standing outside the courtyard. Unfortunately, because of the space, because the courtroom itself is so small, actually it is a container, they would not be allowed to come inside the court. But when we spoke to them earlier, they were indicating that they are angry at the fact that innocent people were murdered in that brutal manner. One of them actually saying that these people, they are known, apparently they come from this community. Well, we don't know their identity as the media yet, but they will be appearing in this court. And of course, you are saying that they must rot in jail. But let us now get to hear the perspective and the reaction of the provincial government as well as the local district municipality. MEC, thank you so much for making time. Firstly, your reaction as the provincial government to these brutal murders. No, we are, we are saddened by the act and we pass our condolences to the bereaved families. I think we must also congratulate police for swift and speedy arrest of the suspects. We hope that this will lead to a proper and successful prosecution so that the community uh, is actually uh, uh, given justice and all families are given justice because this heinous act uh, actually um, disintegrates communities. It brings fear and people uh, live in fear. The, because of uh, animals like this one. So I hope that they, they lock them up and throw away the key. Uh, MEC, we know that crime is totally out of hand in the country. In the province, what are the ways and means of ensuring that at least as the president, Cyril Ramaphosa, when he was first inaugurated in 2018, he said the intention is to have a violent crime by in the next 10 years. From the province's point of view, what kind of work have you been doing to make sure that is attained? No, uh, the report uh, that was presented by my colleague, MEC for Police, Roads and Transport, uh, MEC Buluan, was that they are making strides and serious strides, and that's why you can see the arrests are swift in the province, but they involve a lot of community. If communities can come out and work very closely with the police, we will have success in arresting a number of people. We are involved also into uh, other programs, social programs, to take people away from criminal activities, engage them into extramural activities, especially young people. So we're creating a conducive environment that people will live uh, in so that they don't uh, easily get tempted to enter into criminal activities. Well, thank you, MEC. Maybe let me engage the executive mayor of uh, Tabo Mufuzanyana District Municipality. Ma'am, from the district's point of view, what has to happen to ensure that we have less if nothing altogether of such cases? Uh, thank you very much. Uh, I believe that um, the social programs that we are having, they are the only ones that can assist us in alleviating the activities that we are seeing in our communities. I think that uh, our youth, it is said that uh, idle mind is a devil's workshop. So hence it says to us, most of our youth are doing absolutely nothing. Because if you can see those individuals, as said, who are their ages, who they are very young. It is our youth who are, who are actively involved in this. So it means we need to come up with more programs. Hence, as Tabon Futsanya District Municipality, we are rolling out some programs that involve youth so that they can find themselves being able. Maybe some of them, they feel that they are 
they are useless, they cannot become anything anymore. But with the programs that we are bringing, we are putting in place, like the program we are having on the 22nd of the Career Expo, that is to say to them there are a lot of things that you can do as you. Yeah, would you, considering that as local government, you are closer to people in general, would you admit perhaps that in terms of the interventions and programs, whatever that has to keep young people busy, perhaps has not worked up to so far, hence we continue to see this because not very long we saw in your neighboring municipality a, a farmer in Senegal was also murdered. We cannot, say it's, uh, we cannot say it's not working. It's working. Maybe the impact is not being um, realized yet, but it is working. Because if that there, was no, there were no those pro such programs, then it means that maybe the crime would, uh, would have escalated more. So I don't believe that. We are doing something, and we cannot do it. It's not going to... It's a program. As I'm saying, it's a program. It's a continuous program. So at the end of the day, we'll achieve what we want to achieve as government. All right, MEC, just a quick one. What is the position of government as these two men are appearing here in court today? We will be directed by the justice, criminal justice system. We have faith in them that they will attend to it. Do you think they deserve to be out on bail? Personally, I don't think so. I think they must be, uh, they, what he did is really inhuman. Uh, it's painful. I mean, how do you murder seven people at once? What goes into your mind? So, personally, I don't think they should receive pay. But uh, we will be directed by the criminal justice system with faith. They'll do their best. All right. Thank you so much. Well, Masero, there you have it, the official word from the provincial as well as the district uh, municipality's point of view. But one, we, one thing we know for a fact is that this brutal act has united uh, political parties. The EFF, in red, they are outside the DA, as well as the African National Congress. It seems the people here have, are now going beyond the political lines and becoming united as community members. Indeed, seven uh, uh, people, six people being killed here. Surely this has co uh, uh, caused uh, um, some kind of a disturbance, and the sentiment really is that they need to be behind bars. All right, Muloko Muloto, with that report, let's leave it there for now. He